right, T. Welcome back for the rest of Carmen San Diego Math Detective. Now we have four landmarks left. We have yeah, four landmarks left that we haven't gotten. We got eight last time, so hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Although the uh, the math was getting a little a little trickier towards the end, especially since it's been a hot second since I've had to do some of this stuff. Uh, so. <laughs> So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on our last ones here, which I think there's two in each of these now. All right. Oh, here we go. Starting off with geometry. See what we got. That's a lot of rectangles. Holy shit. Alright. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, M, P, R, S. What two shapes are similar? They m must be the same shape, but don't have to be the same size. Oh, when, uh, when two shapes are similar. Okay. Which rectangle is similar to E, F, G, H? Probably. Oh, no, I guess it'd be A, B, C, D. Yeah, that's just that scaled up. <laughs> Oh boy. A, B, C. A, B. Oops. F. G. Okay. All right. Which triangle similar to A, B, C? That'd be D, E, F. Right, construct a shape that is similar to square A, B, C, D. Okay. What is true? A, B, C, D, and F, G, H are, are congruent. A, B, C, D is larger. A, B, C, D is smaller. A, B, C, D is smaller. Okay. Couldn't we just use... Yeah. What makes these similar? They are the same shape. But I thought that's what the thing was saying before. Okay. Similar to A D E. Similar but not identical. A D E is larger. Identical to squares. We got what? Four across. Okay. Instead of just similar, they are exactly the same shape. Alright, construct a shape that's similar to rectangle ABCD. Makes ABCD different. HGF is two times. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Two. 
let's see. Yeah, it's two times. <laughs> Russia. Was the was St. Peter's one of the ones that was stolen? I guess it must have been. I'm not sure what other big landmark they would have done. Hmm. Ha. All right, let's start here. There are 1,200 glass cases to dust. 45-year-old man who cleans them could dust 103 in an hour and worked a six-hour shift. All right. Six times 103. Maybe they, they probably want it the other way. Times six equals 309. <coughs> three cases in an hour. Six hour shift. Unless they do want it the other way. Six. Oh, I'm stupid. Six times 103, not three. 618. Let's see. Carbon Secret Museum was expanding by two rooms. The first room could take 180 days to complete. The second room would require 156 days. The construction team could work six days each week. How many weeks would it take to complete the second room? Okay. Here we require 56. Feel like we gotta add these first. <coughs> okay, maybe we don't. Okay, maybe we just need the second one. <coughs> Oops. Gotta change the answer. Fifty-six. Six. Okay, so you just want the second name. Okay. Met with Carmen to discuss the exhibit. 570 displays were put up every th in 30 days. There were 726 displays to be arranged. How many displays were not yet arranged? 726 minus 570 equals... Alright. The blocks... We're transported by two trains. One train is 726 cars. The other had 247. How many were needed, or how many total? Let's see. 726 plus 247. All right. Rome to London for an auction. The flight was 750 miles. Cost 817. She has 618 cash and one credit card. How many dollars did she charge to her credit card? Okay. 17 minus 618. All right. 12 bad boys in the nearby high school messed up the American Buffalo exhibit. They played toss with 612 buffalo chips and crumbled 199 others. All right. So it's all of them. Alright, 622, 728, 22, 821. Hmm? Oh, 612. I read that wrong. 612. So 800. Oops. All right, let's see. 612 foot rope bridge. The bridge has three rest stations. It takes one minute to crawl across 12 feet of bridge. How many minutes? All right, 16 divided by 12 equals 51. All right. 
First painter could paint three sessions compared to um, 51 weeks. How many days would it take the second painter to complete the job? 51 times 7 equals... Time. Disguise kit had five different fake noses, six different wigs, and seven pairs of glasses. Using just noses and glasses. So five times seven equals thirty-five. Okay. Four hundred twenty agents to tie together over three thousand shoelaces. If each agent worked twelve hours. All right. They're getting here faster on us now. as bad as I thought they were going to be. Or three by two, two. Eighty-six. Oh, wait, no. Be a lot more than that. Five. Fifteen. Five. One. Twenty. One. Twenty-one. There we go. Sixteen thirty two ninety divided by point two. Let's see. Hello, Emma. Welcome. I appreciate the offer. I actually do my own animation, though. So, <laughs> thank you, though. Let's see. Fat time forty five four fifty. Let's see. Six thirty. Two more, okay. Ninety-three five by point five hundred and eighty-six and sixty-seven hundred and twenty thirty-four. Oh, nine thirty-four. There we go. Go for a dip. Caspian Sea? Did they steal the whole ocean? Is that what it was? I can't remember if that was one of them. Oh, here we go. Alright, estimation time. Let's see. Alright. 960 divided by what is 24? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, it's going to end in five. That's two. Low. Oh, it doesn't end in five. Oh, it's multiple of five. Okay. Divided by 16 is 17. 
All right, well, 6 times 7 is 42. So 2, so we've got two columns of 2. All right, so 2 and then 4. And then two, four, ten, zero. All right, we're gonna go with too high, way too high. There we go. Okay, 918 divided by what is 54? Well, we know it's going to be less than 18. So it's this whole first column. Okay, 24. Too low. Divided by 4, 12. Still, oh, right in the middle. Because <laughs> like it's not smaller than eighteen. Divided by 18 is 32. So 2 times 8, 6. Got two columns of 6. Uh, let's see. So 3. So 3 times 32 is about 100. So 600 and something. So it's five something I did end in the second. We were right about that. Five twenty six is too high. All right. What divided by sixteen is forty nine. Okay. So we got two, eight hundred and something. Eight hundred and nine forty eight fifty. Let's go. Too high. No oh, air. All oh, right, we should have estimated that it was a little less than 800 because, right, 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 right. Because yeah, it was 49, not 50. All right, 2 times 9, 8. And 2. Nice, right on the money. Okay, 46, 406 divided by 29. All right, 406 divided by something equals 29. So 29, so 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, 13 is a little too. 14. There we go. All right. Divided by 14 is 69. Nice. Let's see. Let's do... If we do 70 times 14, we can just do 7... Fourteen, seventy, fourteen. That would be twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight. So 
eight, nine, two, nine, nine, two, nine hundred and twenty. This is a little less. Not close. No, it ain't. Alright, no, we're still a little off there. Interesting. Launching. <laughs> All right, we haven't found the crystal thing yet. Nine, I've stumbled onto some pretty weird stuff here. I have a feeling that Carmen's up to more than grand larceny. Symbols, meteors, power drains. I don't know how it all fits together, but I'm about to find out. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> you do that, buddy. Here we go. Alright. Alright, 8.7 is 7, 7, 7 is 49. 9, 4, 7 times 8 is... Let's see, no, 5... 40, so 48, 56, 56, 60, 609. 1.9 times 2. That's going to be 2, 2 2.9, 3.8. Oh, right, this is by a smaller number. That's right. Okay, 9 times 8 is... 8 times 8 is 48. So, 5... Or, wait, no, 8 times 8 is 66. 8 times 8 is 66. And then... 74. That's not right. 72. Yeah, that's it. 64. 64. Eight, 8 times 8 is 64. And then 72. Okay, 72. 7. 64. So 64. 7. Fuck. There we go. Oof. All right. Three times nine, eighteen. Or not, wow. Okay, I am definitely off. <laughs> twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven. Seven, two. Eight times nine, seventy-two, seventy-four, seven, four, two. Oh man. I don't think we're getting this one. Okay. Found three point four. <laughs> I do not remember how to do those properly. All right, let's try this again. Okay, two times six, twelve, two, one. Yes, 12, 2, 1, yeah, 6 times 8 is 48, 49, okay, that still works like I thought, 6, 24, wait, why are these decimal points in the rocks, but I said 24.6 and that's a 2.46, what the heck? Alright, 4 times 7 is 30, 
All right, right now. Which is 28, sorry, 28, 28. And then two. Mm. Let's see, 64, 56, 57, 58. <laughs> Four times eight, sixteen thirty two. Yeah, it doesn't show the point there. That's so weird. All right, six times seven is forty two. All right, six times six, thirty six. Six times eight, thirty nine. Seven, seven, two, plus. Seven, five, six is forty-two. Two times eight is sixteen. Okay, I think I'm starting to see how I'm supposed to do these quicker. If we just do this part, so twenty-five, and then if you figure. But this has to have, so 25 plus, let's see, 5 times 7, 25, 6, 28, so 28, 225. There we go. Okay. I think I kind of started to remember how that's supposed to work right then. That was that pot. Up oh, here's the crystal thing. I don't want these. Okay. All right. For the coin trick on a 48 square table, while his eyes are closed, audience member picks out one coin from 24 rows of coins. Each row contains 35. How many possible coins can be selected by the audience member? All right. So 24 times 35 equals 840. Okay. Magic store sold 430 magic coins, 840 small rubber balls, 40 turkeys, and 24 plastic balls. How many balls in the magic store? 840 plus 24 equals 864. All right, kept all his tricks in a large trunk that had five keyholes. He asked his assistant to fetch him a trick, but forgot to point out which key to use. There were 18 keychains. Each keychain held 48 keys. 18 times 48. All right, tied up with six ropes and three pairs of handcuffs. It took him six seconds to release three handcuffs. Um, Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It took 54 seconds to release three. So that's 54 divided by three. There we go. 840 magic rings. Mix of 819 rings. How many magic rings are left behind? 819 equals 21. All right, bye bye elephant trick. 315 times out of 330. Okay, so that's just 330 minus 315 equals. Wait, no. How many more times? How many times more? How would that equal 21? Oh, unless it's... Oh, 330 divided by 15. Derp. Oh, no. Oh, 350. There we go. Wrong one. 
All right, let's see. New headphones to Strickland Battle Convention. 534 people, 315. Okay, how many people were hypnotized? 315 minus 176 equals... 139. Okay. Most expensive trick was 100 swords. It cost 675 bucks for the kit. There's actually a magic box. How much would it cost to buy just the main kit and the box? Okay, 75 plus 176. 75, 775, 851. Okay. During a police raid, 132 vile agents were arrested. I don't know, 675. How many vile agents were there? 132, 75, 875, 75, 85, 95. Wait, yeah, 775, 785, 795, 805, 807. Oh, there's still one. I thought that was all of them. Let's see. Machine and Lower Tentrude. That's time we escape with only 95 seconds left. How much oxygen did he use up? Two, oops. Minus 95. There we go. It was the Russians. Got all we can here. All right. All right. Percents. Percents and fractions. Okay. So let's see. Smallest is going to be 6%. So we got six percent, and then eighteen. That's sixty, seventy. Okay, so yeah, that one's next. Form. 
Let's see. All right, what times two is fifteen thousand fifteen hundred five hundred seventy-eight? Okay. This is going to be seven thousand five hundred at least. So we, oh, we already know that, of course. Five hundred. 7,750. 7,750. Plus 30. Yeah. Alright. Alright, 5, 36. Okay, so what? 0 times 5. A lot of things that could be that. Let's in fact that could be equal zero with five. Let's see. Four. Yeah, four, six, eight, zero, two. Okay, yep. Dun, dun, dun. Five times what is eight? Wait, there wouldn't be any of that to do that. Oh, unless it has duh. Times five. Yeah, it could be like six, two. That was a very elephanty noise. Okay, we need to have five times what less? 380, 480, 580, 680, 780, 460 less. 460. Okay, 460 divided by five. There we go. Okay. All right, two and three seven times what? Ten. Okay, what times nine? What times nine gets us a three? Nine times what gets us a three? Eighteen, twenty-seven, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-four, sixty-three. On it. Oh, it's nine times seven. Duh, that's why. Because I had that wrong. Whew. That's what I get for doing math at 10 30 at night. <laughs> Alright, 73. What's that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Five hundred eight. That's four hundred six. Okay, twenty. 
I guess I have 15 or 25. I went off the assumption of 25 initially. Alright, what times 3 for 2? Take 3. And we'll say 4. Well, we were right about the 4. Island! Job well done. Three left. Let's start at the factory. Oh, blown a fuse. That was the name. That's a pretty great name. All right, starting off more estimating. Oh boy, we got negative numbers now. Okay. Well, we know it's got to be a negative number. Okay. okay what times negative 41? So this has also got to be a negative number. So what times one is four? It's got to end in a four. Hello. Oh, I didn't see there was a there's partial line down there. All right, this one's, so this one's got to be a po Oh, they're all positive numbers. Okay. So let's see. 75. 4,200. Hmm. Okay, way too high. Still way too high. Wow, really? Hmm. All right. All right, this has got to be a positive number. Okay, so what 
times seven gets us four. Let's go with four. All right. All right. All right, this one's got to be a negative number, so that narrows it down. What times eight is eight is one. Okay, negative number. Three times three is nine. Let's go right in the middle. Cool. Okay, this one's got to be positive. One times something is six. All right, I'm gonna go with a little too much. Not enough. Right. Positive number. Could end in anything. All right, so if we do tower ten, so at least fifty something. Okay, that worked out. Glaciers. Everest from the once. Probably was, right? Okay. Desperately wants to feel human. Oh, yeah, blown fuse is a robot. Okay. Not just named that way. 286 personality types, 327 moods. Just doesn't feel human. How many more personality types? Alright, 286 minus 255. Equal 55, 65, 75, 85, 31. Alright, Robodogs are easy to make. We can match body parts, 16 bodies, 24 ears, 31 tails. Just the bodies and tails, 16 times. Equals 486. Alright, what's the most complex robot? Are you 47? Okay, how many microchips are inside robot knee? 147 minus 496 equals 351. <coughs> Alright, wait, the centimeter is too short, so couldn't reach the gas pedal. One centimeter is long. Oh, okay, so 247 plus 8 equals oh I see it swapped it automatically to the right orientation for the next question okay I didn't notice it did that let's see 120 robots to alien being 64 to Terry and 16 to rig how many times more robots did she supply to alien than rig All right, so 128 divided by 16 all right 128 110 high it's three times as long and twice as high. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Equals 34. Okay. First model DC Ross could dive 225 feet. Second could dive twice. Third model could dive three times. How many feet deep could the third version dive? Five times three, six hundred and seventy-five. Garden robots are favored in Great Britain. One member of the royalty has fifteen garden boss, ten two hundred five orchids, split evenly among the robots. Let's see, 425 seals sleeping. Third person caribou. How many caribou did you see in those three days? Plus 610. 
equals 610, 710, 810, 910, 916. All right, 31 ounces, three inches long, 31 times their weight. Yeah, it's Everest. Hmm. Okay, this must be where the crystal is. We got this time. Oh, more division. What kind? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, 68 divided by 2 is 34. <laughs> 39 by 5 Come <laughs> See if it was forty. If it was that, it'd be a thousand. But it'd be. Okay, forty-five divided by four. Uh, let's see. Four. Seventeen divided by point oh five by 0 0.05. So 1% of 63 is 6.3. So half of that is 3.1. That was close. It's there. <laughs> I can't go for anything. It's there. It exists. <laughs> okay, we got decimals and percents. Okay. Alright. So we have point one four. I think that's the smallest. Yeah, that's the smallest.
And here we go. Okay, so next smallest is 14%, and then let's see, 29%. Okay, so might as well get those stacked in order. and percents. Okay. 0 0.3, 0 0.13, I think that's our smallest one. Yeah. Spot. Ninety-one. Ninety-eight. Oh man, international panic grows as power drains from major urban centers worldwide. The city of Lights is looking more like the city of dim bulbs. Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, what do we got this time? Draw line segments. G H where's G? G H J K L, M, N, P. What are we doing here? To create two symmetrical shapes, one shape is flipped over a line of symmetry. Which line is a line of symmetry? M, L. Okay, okay. Let's see what we're doing now. 
Draw a line of symmetry for these two squares. What is true about square A, B, C, D? A, B, C, D is symmetrical to E, F, G, H. Construct a shape that is symmetric to rectangle E, F, D, C. So it needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. And then... What is a true statement? The distance from the line of the point of symmetry and point E and point M is the same. That's wrong. Okay, rectangle EFTC is large. No. And point E and point G is the same. Okay. Symmetrical triangle. This one. Okay. This one goes here. And then there. Which point on triangle MJH maps to point C H? <laughs> Draw a shape symmetrical on the opposite side. Which point on NML maps to point H? That would be M. <laughs> Symmetric line. Okay. Oh, well, that was an easy one. Famous. That also kind of goes for a lot of these things that were stolen. <laughs> They're all famous. like that time when you're like doing the test and like you have way too many like C's in a row in the answers. Oh, no, this one's not. Right. And you're like, are, are these actually all answer C or is the teacher fucking with us <laughs> to make us feel unsure? Okay, 21, 57. All right, so that's going to be at least 25. Is it more than 25? All right, what divided by four? Okay, well, it's going to be eight thousand. No, it's just just going to be just over nine thousand. So nine thousand and. Divided by eighty five is nine. So when it says forty five, okay, that wouldn't be that. Nine twenty five be too big. Okay, 24, 16. Okay, it's going to be a little less than 400. Okay, 12 times 55. It's going to be a little over a thousand, a thousand one. 
Right, yeah, it's gonna be a little over a thousand. Oh, too much. I oh, know it's not. No, a little less than a thousand. It's fifty-five, not fifty that we're doing. Oh, wow, it's a lot less than a thousand than I thought. Three times three. Three times three is nine. Three times eight is eighteen. Nine. Alright, and three times eight is twenty-four. Nine. Four. Alright, three times eight is twenty-four. Four, two. Fourteen. Four, two. Alright, four, four. Seven. Zero. Seven. Yeah, times one. Same fucking number. <laughs> Twenty-one. Let's see. One, two. Four times seven. Twenty-eight. Nine, thirty. Zero. Zero, one. Zero. Four. That round of ones went a little faster than the first one did. Let's go get our prize. Those are some animated 90s cartoon dogs. <laughs> Those look like straight out of like cat dog or some of those other ones. Dang, whole nice crease between all the other mountains. Congratulations on putting Mount Everest back on the map, Nine. We're pulling in the loot fast, but the power drain is spreading faster. The lights just went out here in Athens. What could Carmen possibly want with all that power? One thing I do know, we've got to destroy that rock. I know what we need for the job. Now I just have to find it. Wish me luck. Indeed. Alright, two crystals left. Alright, starting off with geometry. Oh. 
we gotta beat the big puzzle. Let's see, draw a triangle. A, B, D, and D, B, C. Nice air red. What action will move triangle A, B, D? Okay, flip over line D, B. Let's do more symmetry stuff. Draw a triangle H, D, F. All right, D, E, C, found top, flip over line. Draw a triangle E, F, C. Alright, that will be for slide eight down. Draw a triangle B, E, J. Slide or GDA if I don't have a slide ten right. Yeah. Alright. A B F A oh these A D E. Two divided by four, two hundred and sixty four divided by three, two hundred and three times Three times nine. Three times nine. Damn. All right, nine six Let's see. Four. Yeah, four times eight, thirty two. Thirty two. Yeah. Four times eight, three times eight. Three. Okay. <laughs> Two times four and eight, two hundred and fifty. Wait, no, two hundred and forty nine. Six times five hundred and six, eight, six times nine, ninety. Six times nine, six hundred and sixty. Freebie. Five by five hundred and sixty. 
uh, let's see, hundred and hundred and twenty. Those last couple ones were free, pretty much. <laughs> I'll take it. On shuttle. Oh, I think this was like the the space launch thing in like Cape Canaveral or something. Oh, I, I remember. I remember this one. I remember the room full of bunnies. <laughs> Hello, Mochas. I sure am. We're finishing up math. I did say something. I put it in the put it in the all are streaming. Let's see. Oh god, negative numbers. Okay, so we know it's gotta be a negative. Alright, one times nine. Let's look at just that. That's way too high. Close. Okay, there we go. Ugh, negative numbers. What divided by 50 is negative 5? Oh boy. Let's see. So it should be 200 and. Negative 250. Yep, okay. Alright, so this one's gonna be a negative number. Okay, so three, what, say so three times what gets us eight? Three times six, okay, so should we be ending in a six? Do we have any negatives ending in a six? Hey, there we go, okay. Okay, so this one's going to be a positive number. So 5 times what is 420? 5 times... Say 6. No. Okay. Let's see, this one's gonna be a negative number. Everything's negative, doesn't matter anyway. Alright. Well, let's see, two times zero is gonna get it, and it's in a zero, so we know it's one of the zeros. We got two columns of zeros. Alright, and then we got zero, zero. Do we have any zeros, zeros? No. Oh, duh, I could have just multiplied 3 times 32. I'm stupid. There we go. Oh, negative number's fucking me up. Let's see. So this one's gonna be a positive number. And oh, they're all positive anyways. Okay. So 47, 14, 28. It's gonna end in an 8. There's our 8 column. Okay, we have two 8 columns. Let's see. How many... There we go. Okay. This one's gonna be a nay nope. 
positive number. Wait, no, negative, negative number, duh, negative number, they're all negative numbers. Negative, negative is a positive. Let's see, 56. Let's see if we did 10 times 56, that'd be 560. And then 660, 670. Yeah. Okay, last one here. 25. This one's also a negative. Let's see. Let's do two. So fifth. 50. 500. 550. Alright. Nasty job. Yep, yeah, this is Cape Canaveral. We're rescuing this time. There's one more. Probably this mysterious glow. Alright, light spectrometer. Alright, we got, oh man, we got a mix of everything. We got decimals and fractions and percents. Okay, let's see. What's the smallest? Point, we got 30%. Yeah, that one's going to be the smallest. 30, and then 44, and then 53. So it's mostly out of this column for a little bit. fairly high. I would like to get that one out of... No, well, we can go this way, I guess. Well, no, that still doesn't help us with anything there. Let's see. So we gotta get... Oh, wait. So, move this one over there. And then we go there. And then... Need to free up another like column here. So I think if we just keep building on this one. Okay, I can do this. And finally free up three out of two. Okay. One more. We just kind of got to undo our stack. 53. 63. We got to save you till later. Got Star Wars probes. Alright, are we finally gonna see what CD ROM looks like? We've not seen him yet. Alright, Nine, you've eluded me so far. I'm impressed. Hello, Carmen. You know, you could have been a great thief, but I must say, I'm enjoying our little game. Are you now? 
Tell me more about how you enjoy our little games. Oh, hey, look. It's the chips that Mocha didn't eat. Which is probably a good thing, because there were microchips in them. Full of math. Good choice, not eating math. Alright, construct a shape that is the same shape and size as figure C, E, G, J. So it's got to be 3 by 3. Okay. Alright, congruent means to be the same shape and size. Yep. That is what congruent is. Alright, draw a shape which is congruent to A, B, C, D. Okay, looks like it's going to be right here. Which point on H, E, F, J maps to point C? That would be F. Alright, construct a shape which is congruent to D, C, E. Should be this. Alright, which one is D? Point D is point A. Alright, congruent to A, B, C. Uh, oh, is it going to be rotated? Hmm. Looks like it, yeah, it looks like it might be. We need what, five? One, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, here we go. This is congruent, it's just rotating. All right, which maps to point B? That would be H. Congruent to quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, looks like this should be K, G, F, J, K. What point is maps to point A? A is F. Congruent A, B, C, D. Okay. So we need to have four... Uh, let's see, where is one with four? Oh, looks like this might be it. Yeah, just rotated. Nice, okay. Which one maps to that? C is M. capsule in the bottles. Oh, and there's our result. Alright, more estimation. Okay. What times five is a negative thirty-six thousand something. Let's see. Uh, five seven. It's gonna be seven thousand something. Let's try that. A little less. Maybe not quite 7,000, but around that ballpark. Let's try. Hi. Okay, let's try this. Shorter we 200 short. Yep, okay. There we go. Zeroed in on it at the end. Alright, this one's also negative. Alright. Let's try ending in a two. Let's try Way too big. 
okay, it doesn't end in a 2. It's a different one that does that. So 6 times 2 is 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 70. Okay. The other one that multiplied with the 6 and ended with the 2. Times a negative one. We love freebie questions. All right, what times a negative one? Is that sixty-five twenty-two? Two freebie questions back to back. All right. All right. That's four. Okay. So let's see, 26, 13, 7,500 something. Okay, a little less than that. It's going to be a negative number. It's not going to be bigger than that. Okay. New is going to be less than 2,000. Okay, negative 1,011. That's just going to be 8. Or negative 8. Negative 8. Got to be negative. This one's got to be negative. 2,000 times. Yeah. All right. Orbiting. Oh, wait, no, it's not Cape Canaveral. It's the space station. That's right. I forgot the space station was one of the ones that Carmen stole. Okay, so that takes everything here, so we need to go to the cave and get the last two. And then we've just got one more landmark to rescue before the big puzzle at the end. Ah, oh, division, no! Okay, well that's not quite as bad. 25, 27. <laughs> That's going to be 90, 154, 2, 2 times 7, yeah, 2, okay, that's going to be 50. 62 and that's going to be 50 75 
Where is our other clue? See, that one was there. That was that little palm tree. They wouldn't both be over here, would they? Nope. Ah, there it is. All right. Crossword time. Okay, 700 miniature walkie-talkies for her team. It took Velma 13 weeks to make 5 from 22 and 5 weeks to make the rest. How many many were made in the last 5 weeks? All right, 700 minus 522 equals 622, so 100 and 78. Let's see. 200 sensors on the floor, 13 types of sensors, but each one's covered an area of 3.5. Three point five times two hundred. All right, timing device for satellite transmissions. Every two hundred seconds, the device would transmit eighty messages spaced evenly apart. How many seconds elapsed between messages with this timing device? Okay, so two hundred divided by eighty. Yeah, turn right, baby. Oh, yeah, I guess we are doing decimals. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a decimal answer, but then I realized we had a decimal up there already. Okay. Let's see. I just know we don't do any, don't do anything bigger than three three spaces on these ones. Let's see, at one point there were 200 unfinished projects laying around. After 35 visitors complained, she began cleaning it up. She'd clean up two and a half projects per hour. How many hours would it take to clean up all the unfinished? Okay, so 200 unfinished projects divided by 2.5. Oops, 200 divided by 2.5 equals 80. Special wetsuit. She could dive 200 feet without feeling any pressure. Within three years, this wetsuit will be designed to go one and a half times as deep. How more effective will it be? Okay. Times 1.5 equals 300. All right, now the other half. Let's see. First, where she places her tools. She counted 522. She looked for 10 days at the other 20, 10, bleh, for the other 20 missing tools, but with no luck. How many tools does she own? 522 plus 20 equals 542. I don't get any questions about how many bananas people are buying with any of these. Let's see. Ventress made an automatic pizza cutter for CD-ROM. 20 hours constructing the device. 8 hours a day. How many days does it take her? 20 divided by 8. <clears throat> equals 2.5. All right. First test, the car floated 16.5. Second and third, it floated for 18 and 19. How many seconds did the float time increase from the first to the third? Minus 16.5. All right. Fun with fruit. Oh, hey, we got fruit juices. And there is bananas. Hey, we got we got all we wanted. We got banana questions. All right. 12.5 apple juice, 16.5 orange juice, 2.5 guava, and 1.5 banana. If her favorite was banana orange, how many ounces would she drink? Because 16.5 plus 1.5 equals 18. How many crates of widgets? Ah, widgets in the storage room. Widgets and gizmos and thingamabobs. The yellow crates hold 20 widgets and the blue crates hold 30. How many widgets would there be in one and a half yellow crates? So one half times. Yellow crates were 20. Oops. Equals 30. <laughs> Let's go get our crystal. And we only 
got one more. We're leaving, we're leaving. Oh wait, it wasn't space station. It's Hubble Telescope, right? Oh, we finally get to see him. And he looks pretty much how you would expect for a guy that we did math problems about who was buying like 70 cases of soda and everything else. <laughs> Let's go. Space restored. Thanks to you, the Hubble's back in orbit. Well done, Nine. We're in the home stretch now. Unfortunately, so is Carmen. We can't waste any time. You've only got one more landmark to find. Good luck. Hell yeah. All right, what do we got? Mine, museum, hangar, and factory. All right, let's go to the mine first, sure. We're so close. All right, we got, nope, more decimals and percentages and fractions. Let's see. 161, 150, 1.2, okay, 0.25 is the smallest. It'll be 0.25, 0 0.2, or, yeah. 25, 28, 39, and then 6. Okay, so we got to get, like, this column empty here. Just have to undo this big fucking stack. Okay. Fractions. Oh boy. Three, eight. I don't know. Fuck. How do I add fractions? I don't remember. Half. It's two. Wait, no. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm remembering now. So that'd be three, five, I think. Okay. Got to make the common denominator first. Okay. So that makes this a three. So three over six. So four over six. Okay. We're remembering. Okay. So four out of eight. Four, five, six. Six out of eight. Three, four out of six. Four, four out of twelve. Five out of twelve. 
three out of nine, five, six, seven, eight, eight out of seven. All right, three out of nine, three out of nine, six out of nine. Wow, they didn't simplify that down to one third, come on. All right, two times six, so that's four out of 12, square of 12, eight out of 12. <laughs> Five out of ten, six out of ten. All right, two out of eight, five out of four, four out of eight, five, six out of eight. Okay, once once you remember how common denominators work, those are pretty easy. Yeah, we haven't do like fraction shit all the time either. Jeez. All this stuff that you just never use anymore, <laughs> really that much. Oh, oh, hello. Found you right away, okay. Carmen gave Dinosaur $478,000 more than she needed to build a new 500 square foot rodent room. Room costs $489,000, how many thousands? So it's more than, so 489 plus 478. Equals four eighty nine plus four seventy eight equals nine. Okay. Four twenty one plus sixty eight equals nine. All right, so seventy six species. So we had one hundred fifty five. She had one hundred and fifty four. Or one hundred forty four before this week. How many did she have prior to last week? Okay, so 144 minus 76. All right, she had a list of three first names, four middle names, 144 last names. She mixed and matched all the first and last names. How many different identities could she do? Okay, times three equals, let's do 144 times three, 432. Let's see. Two blocks from the Great Wall of China that weighed 967 pounds and an 800 pound block from the Berlin Wall. One of the blocks from China weighed 425 pounds. What does the other block weigh? Okay, 455 equals 512. All right. Eight Mayan sundials. She had them shipped to the museum. Took 14 days. Each sundial cost eighty sixty-four dollars. How many dollars were spent? Okay, so eight times sixty-four equals twelve. Alright, there are three hundred and thirty-six ladybugs and four hundred aphids. Arrange ladybugs into columns of eight. How many columns of ladybugs are there? Three hundred and thirty six oops. Divided by eight equals forty-two. The museum needed a spectacular clock, so Carmen decided to steal Big Ben in London, England. The plan was to take it apart. I like how this text like spills over into the out of the box. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Or maybe that's just because of this game is old fuckery. It could be, considering all the J's are still missing for some reason. Uh, let's see. 504 pieces. It would take 6 hours and 12 people for each person to assemble the same number of pieces. 504 divided by 12 equals 22. All right, minor repairs. A water fountain would cost 72 bucks. An exhibit case would cost three times that amount. All right, so 72 times seven. That's 504. And I believe there were 111 types of dinosaur tantrum. <laughs> what? How many different dinosaur... There's seven times that number, 111 times seven equals. All right. Bus tours. Bus tours. What did we have? It was one mile wide. Bus tours. We already did Golden Gate Bridge, so it's not that. And Golden Gate Bridge is not one mile wide. Uh. B. I don't remember what else is gone. Where is... 
Oh, there it is. All right, estimating. All right, so it's got to be a negative number. They're all negative. All right, one times what is six? Right in the middle there. Another negative nine times nine, eighty one, hands in a one. Time. This one's gonna be a. Oh, they're all positive, anyways. Three times nine, eight. It's gonna end in an eight. Let's see, where's our eight column? Do we not have an eight? Or wait, no. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Duh. That's right. Twenty-seven ends in a seven. Let's try that. Too low. All right, nice. Alright, this one's gotta be a negative number. Is that great, that rule that rules out two of them. Let's see. <laughs> Nine fifty two. Fifty six, let's see. So two eighteen. Right, a little less than eighteen. There we go. Right on the money. All right, this one's got to be a negative number. All right, what time seven is for? So it could be a two. And we see it's 27, so it's going to be at least five and 15. Let's try 23. Okay, no, way too big. Should have gone with my gut. I thought it was 12. That's okay, we get five guesses each for each of these before it kicks us out, so we're good. Let's see. This one's got to be a negative. So one times eight, it's going to end in an eight. Right in the the road. Okay, we need double that-ish. Yep. It's all the way up there, okay. Alright, 7 times 5 is 35. It's getting in a 5. Last one, let's see, four times end in a one. No, it doesn't end in a one. All right, what else is four? So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay, it could be a six. Right, it's Ayers Rock. It's Ayers Rock from Australia. Oh god. Oh god, the skeletons! <laughs> well, this looks like a new helmet. I don't remember this being here before. Oh boy, to Acme agents. Urgent, Acme is losing power. 80% of our field offices are shut down. Headquarters may be next. This could be the last Acme communication you receive for some time as the power. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, back to more estimation on this one. Multipliers. Alright, some negatives. Uh, let's see. Six times. Six times seven. Six. 
times 8 is 48, 6 times 9. Let's try... Okay, right on the money. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, three, so five thousand. Three times, let's see, three times twenty-one. Let's see, three times. Hey, right on the money again. Six. All right, this one's got to be a positive. Seven. Let's do one. Oh, wait, it's got to be a positive. What am I doing? There. All right, what times two? So eight thousand or negative eight thousand something. Crap. This one's got to be a positive. 2,000 times... Ten, oh, a little too high. I guess it is 2,800. 3,000 we should have used for estimation. All right, four thousand six. Yeah, let's let's start with six. Oh, yeah, I'll do seven. Nope, it was six. Should have gone. We got. Let's see. It's gonna be a negative for two thousand something. A little bit more. There we go. Last one. This one's a negative. 8,000. Just barely over 8,000. Nice. is new this globe All right, still more division for me huh okay oh no this one's fraction still okay all right so four out of six five out of six minus four six one minus fractions this time all right so one minus a half <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be four. <clears throat> so it's one minus one half, three out of six. Alright, eleven out of twelve, six, five out of twelve. Five out of twelve, minus two, three out of twelve. Alright, nine, four out of twelve. Saw that negative fraction in there. <laughs> Ten out of twelve and eight. So two out of twelve. Alright. Ten. So 
they blew up their own place for us, I guess. <laughs> Alright, our last two clues. Oh. Okay, one of these. Alright, 41 robot animals in the petting zoo. 32 lived on AC power supplies. Animal bots had 18 backup batteries. How many backup batteries were needed? Okay, so 41 minus 18. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, that's just 41. 41 times 18. Equals 738. Yep. Okay. Well, a fuse. Yeah, 432 maps and are planned to take over the world. 24 countries to be conquered and created by 12 agents. How many maps are there of each country? 20, 432 divided by 24. All right. 12 telephone operator robots to answer common questions. There are 41 commonly asked questions and 24 different answers. How many answers were programmed? Times 24. Equals 94. All right. Gold and silver inlays for robots. 24 ounces of gold, 5 ounces of silver. We're using the latest robot. There were 696 ounces of gold and 342 ounces of silver remaining in storage. How many ounces of gold were there before? Okay, so 24 plus 696, 706, 716, 720. Oops. Oop. Didn't finish typing. Okay, 702 shark robots were created for amphibian. Each one weighed 520 pounds. Cool sharks from 15 transmitters. Each transmitter controlled the same number of sharks. I think that's a typo because we have 720 here and that's the 702. So we're going to go with 720 divided by 15. Yep, that's a typo. That should be 720. Typos in the math questions and then the teacher will mark you wrong and you won't get an A. Rude. So rude. Let's see. Testing robot can speak 15 languages. The final model will speak 27 times that. Okay, it's 15 times 27. Equals four hundred five. Nice. Robot race car can go six hundred eighty-seven miles per hour using twenty-four inch, twenty-eight inch tires. Blown fuse can go twenty-four miles per hour at twenty-four miles per hour faster using thirty-two. Twenty-four plus six hundred eighty-seven. Uh, 97, 707, 7-11. Quarterback robot to play in the Vial League. In the first year, it threw 843 passes and ran with the ball 120 times. Completed 711. How many incomplete passes? Right, 843. Oops, not plus. Minus. Equals. 3 minus 7-11. Arctic Robot Lab is built on a floating iceberg. Two days ago, there was fifth current, and the iceberg shifted 843 feet. How far the iceberg moved in the last two days? Equals 843, 943, 994. 
All right. It's only robot. Assembly line went haywire for 70 hours. It produced defective robots. If 76 of 151 robots that were assembled were defective, how many robots were okay? Hmm. Alright, looks like our last thing is gonna be geometry. What kind of shapes we got us for? Well, okay. At least it's not a bajillion shapes we gotta doodle this time. Draw this way. Area can also be calculated multiplying the height by the width. What is the area? All right, so five times five, 25. Okay, so this is this all gonna be area one. Nice. End in easy. Height times width is area. What is the area of this rectangle? Five times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five times eight. Wait, no, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Is it not eight, six? Yeah, eight times five. Is that 40? It's four, why is there no 40? Not crazy, right? Yeah, eight, eight times five is forty. There wasn't a forty there. What the heck? Okay. Uh, e f a b. All right. What is the area? All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Five times seven, thirty-five. Okay, so that one had the option. Weird. Okay. Parallelogram A B C D and rectangle D. How do triangles FAD and EBC compare to each other? Same size, different shape, exactly the same. Yeah, they're exactly the same. <laughs> Construct parallelogram A, B, C, D, and rectangle. What's the following actions would change parallelogram A, B, C, D into rectangle A, B, F, E? Okay. Slide A, E, D, 11, right? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. <laughs> Area three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Three times sixteen. Why is that not still in there? Oh, wait, no, it's three, it's two. It's two times sixteen. <laughs> Was that what I did on the other one too? Did I miscount what the one side was? I think that's what I did. Add rectangle E B C F. What's the following? Would change parallelogram A B C D into that? Slide F C D. I think it's thirteen up five. Yeah, slide F C D. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah,
Dun, 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 dun. We made it. We're to the final puzzle. Let's go. Let's get our last crystal. monuments I've been deflecting the world's power to my quantum crystallizer soon it will generate a force field that will make vile central invincible oh heck nine we've got no time to spare I finished analyzing the blueprint these crystals form some sort of key Figure out the pattern, and then we can get to the rock. I have what we need to destroy it. I'm on my way there. Good luck. All right. Okay, so we need to have one of each shape and one of each color in each of the rows. Okay, so we know if we need a triangle in this row, it can't be green, it can't be purple, it's gotta be a yellow triangle. So let's try that there. Which means this one was gonna have to be a red diamond. Okay. So we need a red in this column. Can't be that. Okay, so this has got to be. Oh wait, no, that won't work there. Okay, so these. Nope, these can't switch. Hmm. instead. Then we can put the red here. And put this here. And then we're still good there. Okay. Let's try yellows. If I can't do it here, can't do it here, so it's got to go here. Which means this has got to go here. Oh, wait, no. It's got to go here, but we can't do that. We can't do that. So that's not right. We already have a diamond in that column. Hmm. Well, here, let me, let me reset it. Okay, so this is what it was at the start. Okay, so we already know these are here in the right spots. So we know it has to be a yellow, and it has to be this. So we know this is right. Okay. All right, so we need one of these, and one of these. Let's try there. Let's try there. And 
let's do maybe circles. So we need a green. Let's do here. Wait, no, we can't do that there. We've gotta do it like there and there. Okay, which would mean that this is the diamond. Okay. So then we need, let's see, the other diamonds. This can't go there, so this has to be here. Which means that this is in one of those two. This is a triangle. This is a yellow triangle. Which means this has to be a yellow sphere. Which means this has to be red sphere. Which means this has to be triangle. And this has to be diamond. There we go. You've decoded the lock. Great work, Nine. Now let's finish the job. Here's what we need to pulverize this pebble. Better stand back. I know how much you hate loose ends, so you'll be uh, glad to know this finally tension. wraps up our old Prometheus case. I guess that puts an end to your plans. Not to mention, Vile Central. An end to my plans? I don't think so. This is just a temporary setback. There's more rock where that came from. Ta-ta! Go fucking get it, girl. <laughs> Alright! We did it! We fucking beat Carmen San Diego Math Detective at level 3, which I never did as a kid. <laughs> I did the other levels, I never did 3. We're still smarter than a 5th-ish grader. I can't remember exactly what grade this is supposed to be for. Nice. That was a lot of fun! I look forward to playing a bunch of these older games that I picked up. Um, some of these other ones I'll probably do aren't necessarily educational games, they're just old games. Might take a little breather between the educational ones from like, the old days. Um, but yeah, I might do like the Zillionaire or Profitania next, because I used to play the shit out of those on my dad's computer. They're basically like kind of like business sim games where like Zillionaire, for example, you are a dude with like a spaceship in this galaxy. And you have to, like, travel between planets and, like, sell goods in order to, like, pay off your loan and then, like, make enough money to, like, survive. And, you know, random events happen and there's, like, competitor ships and stuff to go against. And it's got kind of goofy art. And then Profitania, which is by the same company, was one they made a little bit later, which has kind of an interesting, like, early 3D art modeling style. And it's a similar sort of thing, except you're, like, a factory and an underground civilization and you have to like buy goods on the stock market to produce in your factory and then also random events happen and you have competitors and other stuff to deal with. Uh, but they're surprisingly fun they actually were pretty acclaimed uh, back in the day i remember lava mine the devs that like made gazillionaire and profitania actually like won quite a few awards and such for the stuff they did with that open oh, i guess it just closed itself because we won all right well, that's that. Carmen San Diego, Math Detective. Let's see, is there anybody on? I know it's a weird time of week and a weird time of night. I have no other channels on. Is there anyone else streaming Carmen San Diego, Math Detective? Nope, just me. Okay, I figured. <laughs> Let's see. Who can we go raid? Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. I 
I don't know if you are if you are there, Zan, or if your stream avatar is still just lurking on its own down there. But if you have somebody that you know that's a good bean uh, to throw us at, uh, let me know because nobody that I follow is on right now. In the meantime, I will look a little bit here and see if I can find someone. Let's see. Uh, let's try. Oh yeah, let's search for edutainment. Let's see. Let's see if we find anybody who's doing edutainment. Let's see what this is. Let's go read this person. They seem cool. They're doing a charity stream. Looks like they're playing some weird old Pink Panther edutainment game. Let's check them out. Zombie Pie. Alright, off we go. We'll see you next time with some other cool shit. Bye.